What's up guys, it's your boy Darkskin, and today we're going to be talking about um, Naruto and Sasuke. And the reason why we're going to be talking about those two is because if you scroll down, if you look at the Blazing Timeline, <coughs> we just got limit breaks for Madara, Hashirama, and Tsunade, right? So here's Tsunade. The next Blazing Fest, well, is Obito, but we already got his, so keep scrolling. Hashirama, we already got his. Naruto and Sasuke. Now, we're going to go over these characters a little bit. And the reason why is because technically they would be the next units to get a limit break, right? Uh, now, how the limit breaks are falling, they're probably going to get their limit breaks on uh, anniversary. Now,. I pretty much want to talk to you guys about how insane these limit breaks are going to be, right? Uh, looking at Naruto, Naruto has an attack stat of 2,088 with pills as a mid-range unit. PvP stats are pretty much 32,000 HP, 3,200 attack stat. Um, he, he restores HP with his field skill. Uh, he has dodge on his buddy skill. Seek with Bravery, reduce Wisdom damage, Seek with Bravery and Wisdom, boost attack, Seek with Hit and Leaf, reduce Bravery. So, Seek skills, all are really good. We already know his abilities are insanely good. But, um, the one thing I want to talk about is Naruto, the, I, I like to call it the old generation and the new generation of Blazing, um, of Naruto Blazing, right? Naruto is in the new generation of units, meaning none of his, um, Stats are outdated. None of his uh, multipliers are outdated. Like, you got to think about, he has a 2,000 attack stat with a 16 times multiplier, right? Now, Madara just got a, um, got a limit break. Madara's uh, multiplier is 18 times on his ult. And Madara now has like a 2, like a what? Like a 2,300 attack stat, 2,400 attack stat. But you got to realize, Madara's 6, 12 chakra. Naruto goes to 10 chakra, and Naruto does insane amount of healing, so, like, Madara's not, uh, Naruto's, Naruto is not Madara, Naruto does a lot of healing and stuff, uh, a lot of utility besides damage, is pretty much just damage, um, so the question is, like, how insane are these limit breaks going to be, like, Naruto, like, his, whenever he gets his limit break, he's probably gonna be the best unit in the game once again. He's probably going to come back on PvP once again. Because you got to think about, he his speed is already two, 269. He has 32,000 HP. His HP going to jump to like 37,000. His speed's probably going to hit three 300. Like, yo, he's going to be nasty. Moving on to the boy Sasuke. Whenever Sasuke come out, bro... So much controversy came out about him and, like, his utility. Like, whenever he came out, like, yeah, Naruto was, like, healing and doing a lot of damage. But it's like Sasuke was on some next level stuff with his utility. Like, between his vast range ult with him in the middle doing, um like, 80% of mobilize. Not to mention he has 100% slip damage. Literally, you saw Sasuke and Utakado on the same team. You already knew was knew what was about to happen. As soon as you saw him on the same team as Utakata, you already know somebody's going to get hit with the Wombo Combo. Right? Um, he, He's long range, 1,700 uh, HP, 1,400 attack. But his attack goes to, like, what? 1700 with uh, an ability, yeah. So, um, yeah, his, his uh, attack goes like 1700 with ability with one of his abilities. So, um, his attacks that'll probably go to like 2000, right? After limit break, make and that's gonna just make him way better. Like, literally, that 300 attack he'd get is gonna make him way better. He has a counter on his field, uh, reduce the mobilization rate on his buddy. Uh, his PvP stats, 300 speed, 30,000 HP, 2,000 attack. His attack will probably go to like 2,500. His HP will probably go to like 34, 3,500. And his speed will jump from like 300 to like 340, right? 
that would make him a lot better, a lot more viable. He'd be a little bit more tanky. He'd do a little bit more damage. Because Sasuke's good right now. So if he just got that little bit more, he'd be way more insane, right? He just needs a little push. Going on to his abilities, they're all good abilities, except the last one, which... I mean, the last one is actually good for PvP, uh, so, you know... Uh, sync with Wisdom, reduce Bravery Damage, Sync with Bravery Wisdom, boost attack, Sync with Hidden Leaf, reduce Wisdom. He is the same one as, the same ones as Naruto except Flipped. He's insanely good as far as that goes. Uh, slip Damage Rate goes from 80 to 2 to 100. Extends turns on your status effects, really good. Boost attack, extend turns on status effects, really good. Um, Chakra Gauge, consult, pretty much he goes to 40 Chakra, then Jutsu Seal Resistance. So pretty much the Sasuke... Like, his ability set is really good. Not to mention, if you get his ult and you ult someone, it's a 100% chance to ult them for, like, five turns or so. Hold on, wait. Two turns. Two turns goes to three, four, five. You're, they're immobilized for five turns. If they get immobilized for five turns, the game's over. They're done. It's, it's over. They're done. Right? So, Sasuke is really, really good. 5.5 times attack with a mid-range AoE Jutsu. Um, slip turn you slip damage them for 10 turns if you have max abilities 14.5 times attack and I know his multiplier is a little bit lower than Naruto's but you got to think about first he's 4a chakra then it's a vast range AoE with him in the center and he's going to be immobilizing units right 80% chance is almost guaranteed so like again I say Sasuke is insane he's going to be so crazy with his limit break right now I think that his they're um they're going to drop on anniversary simply because how the um timeline is going. But anyways, I just want to go over that with you guys for a little bit. Uh, that's gonna be it for this video. Be sure to give it a like, subscribe, just have if you're new. Comment down below, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. With that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.